Hey folks, Sean Butler, Cotton Development Specialist, Phytogen Cotton Seed. And today I'm in Appling County, Georgia, actually on the property of Southeastern Gin and Peanut. Multiple different cotton variety trials on this location, uh, but I'm actually walking in a Phytogen Innovation trial we have planted here uh, in 2021. Uh, six entries included in this trial, all of which are at least root knot nematode resistant, uh, as well as bacterial blight resistant. All of these entries are also wide strike three, flex, and list giving us that elite weed control system, enabling tank mixes of Enlist as well as Liberty, fight some of those problematic glyphosate resistant big weeds we have. I'm gonna take a quick run through these, these different varieties, highlight some of the key characteristics uh, for your decision making in 2022. So stick around and see what we have to offer. I like to refer to Phytogen W3FE Cotton as the peanut partner for a few reasons. Uh, one is it helps solve that age old problem of tank contamination from 2,4-DB type herbicides coming from our peanut acres, uh, but also some of the ways that we can plant it around our peanuts. Uh, one of the varieties I'm most excited about in 2022 is this first one highlighted Phytogen 360W3FE. Uh, we can rely on that good vigor from this from a Phytogen cotton and plant it early before we get our peanuts in and go get it before we go to start to dig or, or go put it in after our peanuts uh, have all been uh, planted uh, and start to pull it out when cotton is ready. Uh, Phygen 360 because it also goes anywhere on the farm, a truly widely adaptable product. Uh, put it both dry land and irrigated. It's an early, mid, slightly indeterminate variety. I like to thin it up just a little bit uh, and turn that variety into a mid. Uh, looks to partner with this next variety we have highlighted here, which is currently an experimental PX4B08W3FE. Uh, we're evaluating it in different trials in 2021 for a potential 2022 release. Uh, it's unique. And then it's not only root knot nematode and bacterial blight resistant, but also reniform uh, resistant. But we're most excited about the yield potential uh, from early stage testing we see in this variety, uh, especially in those lower to moderate CEC sandy soils we see in southeast Georgia, uh, as well as the acres in, in South Carolina. And looks to challenge this next variety we see highlighted uh, for that high yield potential acre. Phygen 400 W3FE fits a lot of different areas. It's unique fits that skip row, wide row that a lot of folks are looking at, uh, likes that lower population, a lot of ways to make big yield potential at a lot, a lot of reduced cost. Uh, uh, but when trying to find that racehorse product in our portfolio, it's been Phytogen 400. Uh, we've learned it's very consistent on soil types, uh, done very well in trials at this individual location. Uh, but we'd like to put it on that typical racehorse acre where we have more of a uniform soil uh, so we can really push this variety. Uh, unique and it's a very bushy, compact plant. Doesn't require a lot of picks, uh, but needs that more uniform acre to, to adequately be pushed across that acre, but has the potential to hit really big numbers. And the looking to assist the other side of yield potential is Phytogen 443W3FE. We're really excited to release this variety in 2021, being the first upland cotton resistant to both root knot and reniform nematode, as well as being bacterial blight resistant. Uh, extremely high vigor with this variety. Really want to target this to our stress acres where we have uh, trouble getting uh, seed out of the ground or we just need a, a little bit bigger stalk height. Does have that good early season vigor, so want to try to catch it early with some with some picks. Uh, we'll grow it more similar to this next variety we see highlighted here, relying on that good early season vigor phytogen varieties are known for. Uh, now this one I like to joke, we're all excited about five o'clock somewhere, but we're, we really want that friend with us 45 minutes later, uh, and that's phytogen 545W3FE. Uh, peanut partner we're really excited about in 2022. Uh, it's got that full blooming potential that we're looking for, uh, planted around peanuts and then let it hang on to after we get them dug. Uh, and into the meals uh, and still be making cotton on the back end. And brings us to the last variety we have highlighted in this uh, 2021 Phytogen Innovation Trial. Uh, this is 390W3FE, uh, a variety that has a, a regional fit, uh, very close related to 400. Uh, it has that small deep green leaf uh, that we've grown accustomed to seeing uh, with Phytogen 400W3FE, uh, another compact growing plant similar to, to that relative. Just wanted to see if it has a, a fit down here uh, in the lower southeast, uh, complementing some of our other offerings. If you've made it this far, thank you for your time and interest in the Phytogen Cottonseed brand. If you ever have any questions, reach out to your local Corteva representative.